ladies and gentlemen, I am back at the 1715 house. Earlier than I thought possible, I was thinking I wouldn't be able to get back here until the fall. However, thanks to almost four inches of rain all day yesterday and into the night, uh, and a test plug I cut at my house, which is only a few miles away from here, I believe the soil is moist enough to never detect on without killing it. So, I'm here today to see what I can find. I'm still recording. As you can see, um, I've been going really as close as possible to this bush as, as I could. And the reason for that is, 100 years ago, this was not here. So when you've been to a site as often as I have in this site, or you've been at a site that's been hit by other people, you kind of go, kind of got to go to those out of the way places where people may not have gotten to. So that was extended as far as I could. I got a signal here. And because there's so much iron in the ground, it gets massed a little bit. So in the ground, I have a huge piece of iron, nail, nails or whatever. But right in the plug, a really nice strong signal, 1344. So let's see what that is. It's right here. It's pretty shallow, but does not necessarily mean it's new. There it is, it's out. Here it is. I think I see the gleam of silver. Oh yes I do. What could it be? It's a Merc. Sweet. There we go. Nineteen thirty-four. Sweet. All right, I'm still in the bush. I worked my way around. I dug it down, and it was deeper into the hole than the plug. And I was scanning it with my uh, X1 probe, and it was kind of reading up like tin foil but it's jumping all around so I probably wasn't getting a good signal and it looks like I got I think it was lead a lead cart or something it's very heavy let's see if I can get out in the sun here it looks very fragile the wheels that is cool Ah! Yep, what did I say? The wheels are pretty fragile. But, looks like it's very heavy. All right, well, probably damage it more trying to clean it in the field. All right, so, Still working around the bush here. I was actually getting on my hands and knees to go into this area of it. And, you know, I got a repeatable signal on the outside. And this thing was reading iron the entire time. I really, and I felt like the edge of it in here, I still do. Oh, that would be why it was reading like iron. <laughs> that is a big nail modern. But what was reading on my detector was this pretty thing. Very nice. 
suspender. Now this is like a, probably more like a sash buckle based on that little bar on the back there. Could date to Victorian period. I call this more of a sash buckle than a uh, suspender clip. Very intricate. Sweet, I love finding these. Doesn't look like, uh, based on the patina on it, that it'll clean up and have any of its silver or gold on it. But uh, pretty cool. Excellent. All right, folks, I got a pretty cool signal here. I'm still in the, in the uh, bush here, and I came around this way and was sticking my detector in this way, but obviously this branch was blocking my reach or something, because I just got a... Nice mid-tone range right here. So I'm gonna dig it live for you. So most of the things underneath here have been pretty nice. Fifteen thirty, eleven twenty-eight. I've gotten some nice like half dimes, silver trimes. Got that range. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's getting a little too deep now. It's almost like it might turn up to a big deep iron, like an axe head or an ox shoe. But it's not overloading, so still hopeful that it's something good. Not that finding old iron is always that bad, but I am looking for other stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's something big. What the? Uh, well, I could have made a thousand bets and never bet that it was an old-time whisk. What the? I think it's a whisk or something. What the heck? <laughs> I can d definitely say I've never found one of those before. Oh well. All right, so just work my way back and forth here, staying in the moist soil. Had a mid-range, you know, pull tab nickel tone. I was right in here and thought it was just gonna be a pull tab, but I think I see what is probably some sort of coin. We'll see if it's old or not. Definitely nickel sized. Oh, looks like a buffalo. Uh, got another uh, unusual sound and I got myself an airplane. Found one similar to this before. Can't remember if it was here or not. Cool. It's gonna clean up nice. Too bad the wings are broken off. Of it. All right. So next signal, airplanes over there. This is a choppy signal, and just cut the plug with something with my shovel, and I saw this thing pop out. Do not believe I did that damage. Um, yes, it could be some sort of buckle. It's made out of brass. It's very plain or utilitarian. I don't know what it was. Obviously, it was damaged right here by something. But that's old. I uh, got a nice signal here. 1842. And then kind of turning into 1242. So that's like a penny sound, wheat penny sound, maybe. So we shall see. So that's right here. Oh, saw a 1239 in there. That could be an Indian head. But 
thing is, is I'm running in max sensitivity, so sometimes it's hard to lock onto one uh, one sound because you sort of make it unstable. To get the depth, you make it unstable. Now it's sticking on 12:39, so that's a good sign. Maybe I'm stumbling upon a Indian head here. Or some piece of brass, big piece of brass, because it's really screaming right now. Be careful when I try to pop it out here. Oh, or maybe it's not. Maybe it's not an Indian head after all. It's some sort of large scent. Uh, based on the size, thickness, I'm going to say it's a U.S. large scent. But it's pretty smooth, so yeah, it's got some weirdness. On. It's like a rough side, a smooth side. It's really heavy. Well, might just be a copper slug, but I'll leave it in the water for now. Well, I've gone from there really slow with my smallest coil and the highest sensitivity and I did not get one signal. Uh, it just seems almost impossible from a house in the 1700s that there's nothing here but who knows what was done. But the cool thing is I'm standing on a pathway into the basement right now. I showed I think in another video. I went in there briefly didn't really find much, and you got to bend over really hard to get there. But you can see <laughs> down in the crack there, there's a ton of going in. I'll keep trying over here. I've been over this one other time, no luck. It's just crazy that you don't find stuff, but what can you do? Oh, look at that. Peaches are ready. Nice. All right. I'll let you know what I find. Wow, what is that? It would just peed on me. Gross. It's like a massive aphid, but <laughs> goodbye. I uh, just just brushed off of me from this tree here, or whatever it is. I found one on the ground. It smells good. It's sort of soft. Maybe uh, hmm. What do I want to do? Bring it home. Let's see what it oh, look at that one over there. It's humongous. Ooh. Must be like eating it right now. Oh my god. That is a super ripe peach. Wow. Perfect. A little mid hunt snack. Wow. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Alrighty, well, I'm working my way on that edge. Went in between the houses and uh, or the ice house and the main house. Did that yard there? It's getting dry, so I worked my way here, and I just got something cool. Nice little pocket watch. Didn't look too old.
beacon. Cool.